Today's activity, you can see I've already got the Home Light 150 halfway tore apart because I'm trying to figure out how to mate this 12 inch bar and chain where it's used to have a 16 inch. Well, I guess it still does, but golly, is this bar worn out. You probably can't tell from the video, but it, uh, it cuts an arc now. So I figured it's time for a new bar and 30 bucks. What could go wrong if I just kind of start trying to modify a bar to fit? Because from what I can tell from looking around on the forums, and from what's on Oregon's site, it seems like there's not really a 12-inch bar offering for these things. And I can see a little bit of a difference in this pattern. But, you know, some uh, creative machining, some work with a file, and I think I can make this thing work. I'm kind of looking and thinking, there, that slot is just a little bit closer together. Or those smaller slots are just a little bit closer that slot then those holes and you can barely see it there but I knew about that that lube hole needs to be added so I've got some fabrication to do some metal to remove on this bar but I think I can make it work not forget to make sure that slot's kind of clean for that i'll be using one of my assortment of jewelers files even though i'm not a jeweler yep all right those are cleaned out yeah, work. <sighs> I hope that being open doesn't matter. Round two, let's give it a try now. That's something All right, it bottoms out on the studs before it hits the sprocket now. That seems good. Seems like it drives good. It doesn't clatter a whole bunch on the sprocket, so that's probably going to work. So now I just have to sort out the adjusting slot, which looks like it wants to be from the center of the rear but it looks like I want a different set of holes entirely that are, yep, that makes sense, that are farther forward. So I'm going to try... Get this damn bar back off of here. Yep, there we go. Then, if I line up front to front of that, oh yeah, that's way different. That's okay. That's alright. I've got a drill press. That and 
that. And then I'm going to eyeball the other two holes as being roughly there. And there. Let's just see if I can make that work. Okay, the correct thing to do would be to start with a center drill. But I don't know where, if at all, I have a center drill that's not completely roached. And it's not really that time of the year where I'm doing a lot of machining, so I'm not really motivated to invest in one. That's way too slow. Let's go up a speed. Okay, those lubrication holes are quite a bit bigger than they need to be, but that shouldn't hurt anything. The important part is that they breach the slot for the chain, and they sure as hell do. Alright, I am going to switch to a smaller drill bit to make, to at least start the adjuster slots. But, I'm going to have to finish those by hand. That is not going to be super fun. It looks like a decent little bit. Deburr these holes a little bit. All right, the burr there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now that I've added half a dozen features to this bar, let's see if I need to finish on this with the, oh yeah. Okay, so what I need to do is widen that hole out a little bit into a slot. So I will stick that in the vise and get to filing on it. I'm not going to show that because that's going to be a pain. Yep, you definitely can't tell that that wasn't made on a bridge port. It looks mechanically perfect. No tomfoolery at all. Let's go for final mounting. Let's see if... Well, maybe I should clean this up. Just while I'm in here. Just clean this up just a touch. Universal cleaning fluid. Yep. Special oh, specialty chainsaw scrubber. Specialty chainsaw debris digger out. I just have all the custom proprietary tools for these things. Continue using some paint safe universal cleaner. That is a hell of a lot cleaner. This one will step that way. Straighten that out more like it's supposed to be. Leatherman, freaking get one. They're not spot I don't 
Of course I'm not sponsored or anything. I don't have the kind of views for that, but still, they're worth, a Leatherman is worth having. Chain, of course. I get that. Yep, got the son of a bitch tangled up. Sure, it's going the right way. It's of course got a nice high precision level of cleanliness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work. Find the nuts here, which are of course factory and the same size, just as you would expect from the factory. Sockets. So you can tell it's even the same color. I'm sure that's still rock solid. Yep, that's not supposed to happen. Alright. Tighten up this back one just a hair. That's just not. Alright, well, we're gonna try it. Get the bar nose grease. Wherever that went. There it is. Oh. Look at that, isn't that cute? Alright, we got gas in it. back on there, just the choke, mission, lock the trigger on, give her a squirt if I don't want to pull on this all evening, and then well now why is that being that way? some more universal cleaner. There we go. Just needed universal clean. Okay. Of course you would be that way.
gets a little loose. Hopefully, if I tighten this up just like I normally would, it is oiling, that's for sure. hard again. What the hell? Maybe it just needs to wear in. Yeah, it's kind of loosening up. Alright. Screw it. Let's take it outside and try it. You want to try it? No, I'm good. Not really quite hard. like a hot knife through butter, but maybe like I held my hand on the knife for a while and the butter should have come on. Well, it needs some cold butter. Already needs tightened up again, but that's pretty normal for a you know, brand new bar and chain. So get that tightened up, but then it's oh, it's because it needs a new sprocket. Okay, well, that's all right. This will be a handy little saw now. That's just nimble and cute and easy to maneuver around. Back on the pile. 